There's a sinister force in your kitchen threatening to zap your brain cells and spread death and disease. It may look harmless and shiny, but beware, this device is not to be trusted. Psych! Microwaves are perfectly safe. Anyone who tells you differently is a quack. I'm Whitney, and this is The Sitch in Wit's Kitch. Let's start with the basics. Microwaves use non-ionizing radiation to heat food by exciting the water molecules inside the food so that they vibrate very rapidly, creating friction and energy, aka heat. This kind of electromagnetic agitation could damage the cells in our bodies, but you'd have to be actually inside of the microwave for that to happen. The FDA regulates conventional microwaves to make sure these dangerous waves don't leak out, and there have been tons of studies showing that the low levels of exposure to them don't cause harm. What you may have heard though, and this is a whole different kind of argument, is that the process of microwaving actually makes food carcinogenic or destroys its nutrients. And that's the part that's totally bogus. Microwaving is actually one of the top ways to retain nutrients when cooking. Other methods lose vitamins and minerals due to the water loss in the cooking process, whereas microwaves need little water and less time, which keeps those nutrients locked inside the food. For instance, when you boil vegetables, a ton of their water-soluble vitamins leach out into the water, and you can't get those back. And don't let anyone tell you that cooking food destroys nutrients. Some nutrients actually become more bioavailable with a little heat. Lycopene, for instance, which is found in tomatoes and is the most potent antioxidant, is actually absorbed better in the body when it's been heated up. So marinara sauce is going to give you a lot more of that lycopene than, say, a raw tomato. Another argument that I've heard is that microwaves denature proteins. Newsflash, all heat denatures proteins, not just microwaves. And you know what? It's actually a good thing. For those that don't know what denature means, it's basically the breaking down of the molecular structure of protein. It's a process that's actually 100% necessary for the amino acids in the protein to be absorbed into your body, and it happens naturally in the stomach, because it's supposed to. What it also does is kill harmful bacteria and pathogens that could be in your food. Again, a good thing. You may have seen evidence online of experiments that look something like a second grader science fair project comparing the effects of microwaved water to regular water on a plant's growth and showing that the microwave water actually killed the plants. Well, these experiments have been repeated over and over again by skeptical mythbusters online who found the results to be a total sham. My guess? The original experiment was actually a hoax or the person was pouring boiled microwave water onto the plant, which, duh, heat is going to kill the plant. Researchers in the Netherlands actually did a real experiment similar to this one using animals comparing the effects of a diet of microwaved food with normal food and found there was absolutely no difference in markers of toxicity between these two groups. And that's the sitch. Microwaves are not only safe, but sometimes they're a better option for nutrient retention. Thanks for watching guys. Be sure to subscribe to my channel to get more myth-busting nutritional info, quick and fun workouts, and advice for healthy living. And if you want to celebrate your right to microwave your food, I've got a delicious Southwest baked sweet potato recipe on my blog to live and diet in LA. And a link to that will be below in the caption.